Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and in today's video we're going to be looking at the bisection search algorithm. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do micro videos or one subject at a time. So you might say bisection search. What in the world is that and why in the world would we need it? So let's just kind of look at it. So one of the ways that I really like to explain this is, let's say you're going to play a guessing game with the computer. And you're going to give a starting point of 1 and an end point of 20. And then you're going to pick a number between from 1 and 20, so including both endpoints. That, that feature is important. So, all right, let's think of, let's pick 17. So, all right, 17. So, the computer guesses 11. So, then the instructions are press H, enter H if the guess is too high, L if the guess is too low, or C if the guess is correct. All right, so those are the instructions. So, we picked 17. So the computer guessed 11, so that is too low. 16, that's its second guess. That's also too low. 18, that's too high. And now 17, and that is correct. So now let's actually just go through this algorithm. How in the world would we do this? So let's look at this visualization right here before we get into actually writing it. So you can really see it. So now, our first guess was 11. And the way that we're going to need to do this is that first there is a little bit of a caveat. To get this around, we need to think about this to include both endpoints. And the way that we're going to be doing this is we're going to be using floor division. So we're actually going to need to have one, we're going to need to change this to its max of 21. And I'll, you'll get to see the math on this in a minute. So that's why our first guess was 11. So we're going to have three pointers here. We're going to have a low, a high, and a guess. So now, now how in the world... Let's see what, what we did, and then, then we'll lay out what the algorithm actually is. So low and high and guess. And you might just say, well, why does this need to be? So it's just 20 divided by 2. All right. So is that, is that the answer? 20, 20 divided by 2, I get 10. But that's not... That's not going to do it. So is it 21 divided by 2? I still get 10. So this is what, and this, if you were to say, okay, so halfway through, this does work on the low sequence. But what the problem is, what happens if it's on the high sequence? So you have to devise this algorithm to handle both both the high and the low. And the reason why this is bisection, you're literally eliminating half of them at one time. So let's go through how we did this. So high and low, those are our two pointers and our guess is in the middle. But then this was too low. So now this is going to become the new low point. Then half of this our second guess was 16. Then, so we have low, high. So in a situation, if it's too low, we eliminate, we eliminate half. This is why bisection, half, bi one half. So this is why this goes so quickly. So then we picked 16. This is still too low. So then we come here and we went halfway and we got 18. 18 was too low. 
And this is how we ended up with our gas and our solution of 17. So now we have to lay out this algorithm and how in the world we're going to do it. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So, all right. Now, you saw where we take an input, take an input, and have this pause. So we're going to be using a while loop because something is going to be happening until something else is met. So we're going to set a variable to false, and we'll get to that in just a second. So now we have to have our endpoint and our high, and our high point right here. So all right, now we're doing math with this. So we need to wrap our input inside an int. All right, please enter starting point. All right, close, 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 high. Int input, please enter end point and close, close. Now, now we need to take care of our pause right here for us user to think about what number they want to pick after they've already said the spread. All right. Think of a number from low to high. Now, the reason why I just used input was you're waiting, oh, wait a minute, and then press enter to continue. There we go. And the reason why I chose to do this is it's just gonna pause, wait for input, and we don't get any input back, then you go from there. So now, now we're going to be using our while loop and the reason why I set this original variable to false is so I can think about it that we are not going to be stopping so this is not true so this is not true right now so it's false but for a for a while loop to continue this has to be true so this is why I changed this to false so I can go all right so this is going to be continuing while this isn't it's it's not solved so it's false so then I did the opposite so there we go now now we need to handle the first step of the guessing so let's jump back over here now just dividing this by two handles the low end solution. Let's move this back over here. Now, so you might say, well, all we do is just divide by two. Let's do pass so we don't have any issues. So we divide by two and we get our problem and we and we get our halfway point. But what happens if when we move are low. So if I divide, if I'm still dividing 21 in half, I get 11. But how can I get from this over here? So I need to subtract. So I need to subtract my low point. So I have 21 minus 11 divided by 2. Well, wait a second. That would say my endpoint is 5. But I have 16 here. What's 11? 5. So now I need to then 
then if I add back 11, I get 16. So I want you to look at this. High, low, high, low, low. Let's look at this one more time. High, low, divide that in floor division by two, I get five, then I add back low. So that is what the algorithm is. Let's write this out. So the guess is always high minus low divided by two plus the low. That is the algorithm of how to solve because it has to be, and if you do the same over here where we were to go 21, let's change it, by one, by one, boom, I get it. So it is the same structure. High, low, floor division by two, halfway point, eliminating half, adding back the low. Because you want to have the same algorithm for if it's on the high side or the low side of your endpoints. And then you, move, you just move your endpoint. So when you eliminate whichever half, your new start point comes up to guess or your new endpoint comes up to guess and then you just move to the other halfway point. So all right, there we go. I remember the first time I was trying to really think about this. So now I have my floor div. then I have my is your number guess. And a question mark. All right, then we wait on the response. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this so I don't get any issues right here. All right, so basically it was, it's all of this right here. Enter H to indicate the guess is too high, L to indicate the guess is too low, uh, enter C to indicate that I guessed correctly, the computer. All right, and I always took this, changed it to low, so if anybody decided to enter uppercase, we can handle this. So now comes the fun part. And let, we'll just visualize this, vi visualize this one more time. So if the guess is too high, we need to eliminate the high. So we will move the high point to the guess. All right, I'll say that one more time. So if the guess is too high, it's saying, hey, it's lower. So the, the new high becomes the old guess. So let's do that right here. So if response equals high, high becomes guess. And then LF. And then the reverse, if it's too low, if it's too low, we'll move up here and it's on the other side. All right, so if, I think I've meant to do this as SP, but we've already head, headed down this road. Let's make, let's check and make sure we have all, all right, it's all the same. Low, then low becomes, the new low becomes guess, and then LF equals correct, and becomes true, so we're gonna break the loop. So if, if the computer guess is correct, and I say it is correct, we're going to change ands to true then making this false, kicking this out from here, then print our thanks for playing with me. 
that is a little i think that's from old movie war games i believe so so all right now let's check and see how i did and make sure so let's check now let's do let's do one through a hundred so you've already seen it and see how quickly i'm going to try to remember some of the numbers but this algorithm will be able to find a number that we guess that we choose in six or seven choices. So let's just look at it. All right, starting point, one to 100. All right, think of a number between one and 100. Uh, let's do 71. All right, 50. Oop. All right, so now here, here's the problem. It will not get to 100. Let me show you. So let's change our guess to 100. I forgot one super important feature right here. All right, uh, the guess is too low. Low, 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 get to 99. All right, see what happens? 99, 99. I forgot to add, so let's do correct. I forgot the very important part of incrementing by one, the high, to solve our problem. Shoot, is that still in frame? To solve our problem, to make sure we can get to this point that is included. All right, let's rerun. Boom, all right, uh, what was the first guess? Yeah, 71, I think this is gonna be a good one. So one, two, 100. We're picking 71, go. Is it 51, it's too low. 76, oop, too high. 63, too low. 69, too low. 72, too high. 70, low, 71, correct. So let's see, how many guesses was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in this algorithm, in seven guesses, can guess a number. And I think that's pretty pretty much about standard. I it There might be an eight floating around there. All right, so the reason why I like this one so much with these different endpoints is we can do pick a number between five and 75. Uh, let's do 34. So 34. 40, it's too high, 22 is too low, still too low, 35, now it's high, 33, low, 34, correct. So still, one, two, three, four, five, six. So fairly standard because again, you're eliminating ha half, half of the choices. Boom, 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 boom. So there we go. This is by section search algorithm. That is a fantastic, it's a fantastic practice, fantastic tool. So hope you really enjoyed this. And uh, next video, we are going to be doing um, some sliding window examples. Um, static, dynamic, uh, the largest dynamic, and the smallest dynamic windows. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.